Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Prism plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin with two main features. It allows you to create these mines, which are randomly generated by blocks you specify at a certain percentage, and it allows your users to buy ranks when they are mining in the prison. They can buy it for cash and go up in a specific ladder. So first of all, we are going to look at the mines feature. So what we need to do is forward slash mines. This will show us all of the commands. And let's go ahead and do mines and then wand. This will give us the wand, which is pretty much a world edit wand. You select the top corner and the bottom corner. And then the entire selection is the mine. So first of all, place a block down. We're going to left click it and that will set the left corner. And let's go over here and build up a bit. And this will be the top corner. So right click this and then we will need to create it. So let's go ahead and do forward slash mines create followed by a name. So we're going to call it server miner. And as you can see, absolutely nothing has happened. Why is that? Well, we need to set the blocks that we want to be in this mine. So let's go ahead and do forward slash mines block followed by add and then the name of the mine. So server miner. Then we need to set the specific block. So we are going to choose stone, of course and that's going to be at 80%. As you can see, it will tell you the current uh, ratio. So it's 80% stone, 20% air. Now let's go ahead and go get rid of that 20% of air by doing the same command and replacing stone with diamond ore, and that's going to be at 10%, and let's put something like redstone ore at 10% as well. So there we go, we are at 100% now, which is awesome. And now if we do forward slash mines reset, and then name, so server miner, it will reset and as you can see it is 80% stone and then there is 10% of the diamond ore and 10% of the redstone ore. And we can keep repeating the command to regenerate it every time. Now it will regenerate automatically after a certain period of time but you set this in the config file and we will look at that a bit later. So once we've done this, um, you can actually edit it. You can change a particular block. Instead of using the word add, you use set. So we could change diamond ore from 10% to maybe 5%. And as you can see, it's changed, simple as that. Now, when the mine resets, obviously people could be inside and they would be killed. But luckily, this plugin teleports you to the top of the um, mine when it resets. But you can change the spawn point if you want. So let's go ahead and build out a bit. So let's go ahead and do forward slash mines and then set. Then we can set the spawn for the specific mine. Server miner, there we go. Now as you can see, there are holes in here now. Why is that, you ask? Well, it has been reset after a certain amount of time. And as you can see, it has 5% air, so that's the reason why. Now the other set command is set the area. So if you're not happy with the size of this, you can in fact make it bigger or smaller by selecting two points again and doing forward slash mines set area and then the mine name server miner. And then you need to do the reset command again, mines reset and then server miner. And there we go, it has been reset. And now it's even bigger now, which is awesome. So the second half of this plugin is the rank section. If you do forward slash ranks, it will show you all of the rank commands. And if you do ranks ladder, it will show you all of the ladder commands. So you can create ranks in an order going from maybe prisoner to warden. And you can create a different ladder with a different set of ranks. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a rank in the default ladder. Let's go ahead and do forward slash ranks create, call it something. This is going to be warden two, for example. The cost is going to be a thousand dollars and the ladder is going to be default. Obviously you can create your own, but we are going to do default and the tag, you can make this colorful. Let's go ahead and do and six and O, which is italics, I think, and then just warden. Hit enter and it's been created. If you do ranks list, it will list all of the ranks in default. And as you can see, I've created multiple and you can pretty much make them look how you want. And it says the cost afterwards. Let's go ahead and do four slash rank up. And if we have enough money and there is a rank above us, we will be ranked up to the new ranks. So if we repeat that command, we are already at the highest rank. So we cannot do that. Let's go ahead and do four slash ranks and then list prison B, I think it's called prison B. This is a new ladder that I created. I've only created two ranks in it. As you can see, um, a player could rank up in this um, ladder as well. 
So if you four slash ranks ladder and then create, we can create a brand new ladder for people to rank up in. So this could be, I don't know, prism C. Not very creative, but there you go. And what you can do, you can add ranks to it uh, via this method, or you can just go ahead and create a brand new um, rank. And instead of putting default, you obviously put the ladder name. Make sure you do capitals and everything, or it will not work. So this is going to be prison C, and let's just call it Warden 3. There we go. And if we look at the ranks list in prison C, there is only one. There you go. So if we go back to ranks, we can do ranks info, and then the rank name, so Warden 2. And that will show you information about the rank, so the name, the ID, uh, the cost, the ladder, and how many people have this rank. So if you've been playing a long time, uh, you might have the most expensive rank and be the only one with it. And obviously you can delete uh, ranks if you want to so delete, I don't know, Warden 3. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and if we go into our prison folder, we will see all of these files. So there's quite a few, but only a few are important. Let's start at the bottom. So modules is a great file. So in here, you can actually disable mines or ranks if you don't want one of them, which is great. So if you don't want ranks, which I believe is the weakest one, you can just set that to false, click save, and then it will not work on your server anymore, which is good. So let's go ahead and look at items. And in here has a list of all the items you would ever want and the names. So as you can see, um, if you want to make uh, a mine out of birch planks, you can using this name here. And that's pretty much that. The next file we're going to look at is the config. Not too much in here, uh, but we can set a MySQL database if we would like, but you really don't have to. And then we have the storage type. So JSON is fine, so I just leave all of this as it is. Then the only folder we want to go in is the module conf. And once we're in here, we want to go into mines. And once we're in mines, we go into the file that is config.json. So in the mines.json, there is a couple of things we can do. We can change the reset time, which I mentioned. Obviously, this is in seconds, so you can set it to 600 seconds or, or whatever you want. Fill mode, this is cool. So all of the blocks broken will be changed, but the ones that haven't been broken will not be changed if this is set to true. Then multi-world, whether you want it to work in multiple worlds and whether you want reset messages. So this is kind of useful to let people know if something's about to be reset in 60 seconds, 300 seconds or whatever, you can just change it here, uh, put a comma and then add a new line and put whatever amount of time you want, so maybe 10, uh, 54321, whatever you want, and obviously click save at the end once you're done. But those are all the important files that you need to uh, mess around with. There's obviously error folders. If you do have issues with the plugin, make sure you have a look in there and send it to the developer and hopefully he can help you out. But that is it. You can download this plugin from the link below. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest servers around. I'm LT Jim, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.